Hi. The chillest of greetings to you as well. Dan, how are you doing? How's it going? It is Wednesday, my dudes. And that means we're streaming again. Would you believe it? We're doing some more of this uh, this M. Bison stroke count on count situation over here. Go try and finish all the colours on this today, although I don't know if we'll get it all done. We'll see. We will see. Um, yeah, how's it going? How's things? Oh, man. How you doing, Fridge Gang? <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, before we... Uh, cold chilling. Yeah, it's cold, isn't it? It's gone cold again. I'm cold, too. Um, and I'm developing something of a cold as well, which is a bit shit. It's bloody freezing where I'm at. Yeah, it's not great. It's not ideal. Um... In between streams, by the way, chat, uh, Silent Bob and Sneal69 both followed and subscribed. So, thanks for them. Wow, big shout outs. Shout them out in chat. Yo, yo, yo. How's it going? How you doing? I think it's freezing where you are as well, Dr. Troy. Because they are. They're cold here. Um, wow. Yeah, why isn't the chat? Um, do, 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 do. <clears throat> Let's do the face bit first, right? The face and the hands. Seems like the most logical step to take, right? Mm -hmm. So we need a darker purpley color. Let's start with this reference. See how that looks. Yeah, that's good. It's perfect, chat. It's everything I wanted and more. <laughs> yeah, sorry if I, found, if I sound a bit... Uh, bunged up and gross chat the reason for that is I'm feeling a bit bunged up and gross so there it is whoops the ever slower it's like this the tiny tilt in temperature and my body's just like nope we're not doing that it's like we we thought it was gonna be warm now what are you doing and I'm like well look gee it's not my fault bro you know <laughs> I want to be warm too this ain't on me but here we are it's freezing up north, yeah. It's gone cold again. It's a big why, quite frankly, is what it is. It's a why moment for the whole country. Alas. <laughs> oh, would you look at this? A change of hands. Oh, for fuck's sake. Actually, it's not all that bad on this one. How long is change of hands? It's only a minute, right? You know what? I'm going to do your solid, Dan. I'm going to give you two minutes. We're going to try it out and see if it's uh, any better than one minute. Because I, I feel like I spend a lot of the minute going, like, getting prepped and, you know. So the actual time spent drawing lines is much less. Why am I colouring in? Just draw the outline. 
<laughs> Fill it in. There we go. No. Not the clone stamps all. Man, it's really awkward drawing with your left hand. Maybe by the end of, like in a year's time, when I've been doing this for a while, maybe I'll get really good at drawing with my off hand. <laughs> oh, man, the whole point of this style is that it's meant to be super clean as well <laughs> and precise. Ah! <laughs> I just cannot get this line right. Oh, yeah. That's clean, right, chat? That's not wobbly at all. That's not what I wanted. Oh, that's not what I wanted, chat. Man, two minutes might be too long. There's still half a minute left. We're gonna have to find a happy medium. What is that? Oh my god, look how messy that is. <laughs> look at this. Go. Okay, that's the timer. That's two minutes. That seems fairer, I think, for a, a price of 800 channel points, don't you think? Oops. Especially considering I'm only going to go back and fix everything on it. How rough these lines are. Technically teaching, so I didn't know if I'd be around to redeem both. It's all about the double trouble, left hand and no mistakes. Yeah, that's the best one, right? That's where it starts getting real, real annoying. Save up the sabotage for the draw offs. Yeah, that's when it's going to be good, right? Although, when me and Dan did it, not that many people uh, spent channel points, spent cool points on fucking us up. Maybe they, you were all saving them up for next time, and it's just going to be completely derailed the whole way through. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> so I'm thinking mostly about what cast shadows, right? If the light's coming this way. And then what shape is that shadow falling on? So this is this thing, this brill is casting a shadow like this, but the shadow's getting warped because the nose is through it, right? So it comes up the side of the nose and then across like that. So it looks like this. Like this. Rather than just straight. It's a coming. Yeah. It's gonna be a bad one, isn't it? <laughs> Although we did make it last time that you could pick who um, who it applied to. Although I get the feeling that most people will choose me. So. 
however good that'll be. What do you think, chat? Who do you think you're spending your money on? Your cool points on? Me or the guest? Your stream, your sabotages. Oh. <laughs> What's I think we're tied at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, it's 2-2. Two -two. It's 2-2 two -two right now. Between me and the guest team. Oops. <clears throat> so it's not the end of the world if I get sabotaged and lose one, right? Problem is when it becomes a habit. <laughs> Maybe we should make it so that, like, football rules, right? So a win gets you three points and a draw gets you one point. Then there's more pressure to win. Because at the moment, you, you both get a point if we draw. So the only reason I'm drawing right now is because we, we drew that one game. Adam and I did. Oh no, Dan and I drew actually. Adam beat me, didn't he? Problem is, it's going to be much less flattering when I'm losing by like 20 points all the time on my own stream. One or two is kind of a funny bit, right? But <laughs> too many, it's just like, come on, mate, we'll sort it out. Think of that chat. Does it look alright? I don't know. It's alright, I guess. Let's do some edges. After we've done these Sesame Street Fighter characters, by the way, chat, I'm going to do a, um, probably after this one, actually, we're going to take a break before we do the next ones, um, and do something else. So if you've got any ideas on what to draw, I want to do like a, some kind of video gamey thing, I think. Maybe make a t-shirt design or something based on a some video game, like a video game that I like. So if you have any ideas on what you want to see, let me know. 
because I need to make a portfolio of stuff right. So I want to make some t-shirt design stuff and using things like video games is good because it's recognizable product right stuff. Gets people invested more and shows up in searches and stuff on Instagram more. So what do you want to see some fan art of basically <laughs> is what I'm asking. I've been playing a lot of um, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid Ride chat. So I might do something from that. Because then you get the double benefit of people searching for that and other fighting games, and also people searching for Power Rangers stuff, right? Maybe we'll do some uh, some Power Rangers artwork next. He's doing the, uh, the psychic power thing, right? We just haven't drawn the, the psychic power bit yet. Um, so maybe the light should be coming from both hands and therefore this would not be as in shadow as it is. Um, because look, it's gonna have these little fireball things, right? And fire makes light. thing about this thing is that all the Sesame Street parts of these characters are super like simple because um, they're just puppets right so they're just big 
cylinders and spheres and stuff. Very simple shapes. You don't have to think too much about what the light is and where it's going and all that. You just sort of do it. Boom. Uh, it was this, the wet fat pen. That's what we used. That was the boy. The lid is all saying. Bam, 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 bam. Unless after this you guys have got any other great ideas for crossover artwork that we can do. Or just other things in general, let me know chat. I'm all ears. The more streams we do, the more I run out of ideas to stream about, so <laughs> any help is appreciated. to add some highlights right so not very much and not at much of a different level to that something like this that might be even too light halfway between the two that's better. That's better chat. Bum, 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 bum. So I'm not 100% sure on what to do for the next draw off. I was talking to Adam about doing a, uh, a portrait draw off. Well, I don't know, maybe we draw each other or something. What are your plans after the Sesame Street part? This is what I'm saying, I'm not I'm not sure. Um, I wanna make some, I'm done. I need to make some more portfolio, portfolio work and I wanna make some t-shirt design stuff. Um, so I'm thinking of making a t-shirt graphic about a video game or something that people search for, right? Because if I just do my own thing, I've made my own t-shirt graphics before, but you don't get any traction on that on like Instagram, for example. But if you make one about fucking Fortnite, a million people are searching for that, right? All the time. So if you've got ideas for games you want to see some drawings from, let me know. Flavor of the week ideas. That's what I'm thinking. You see, so what's everyone playing right now? It was Tarkov for a while, wasn't it? That everyone was playing on Twitch. Don't know anything about that game though, so. Need copyright to sell image dance. I'm not going to sell them. I'm just going to use them as portfolio work. Um, and generally speaking, yes, but um, 
most small companies you just you use it you just print a load of them sell them as quickly as you can and then when you get a cease and desist order you just stop printing and selling them but you've already made your money from them right that's bad advice everybody chat that's technically illegal advice <laughs> that's what everyone does that was a huge thing that skateboard companies did in like the 90s <laughs> They would just rip off other logos and brands and stuff, sell all their stock really quickly, and then, and then be like, oh, well, we're not making them anymore, so you're welcome. <laughs> we're not going to do that. Biggest game of the Yeah, Valheim actually is pretty big, isn't it? We could do a Valheim piece. I quite like Vikings. Is this red going to be too dark? Yeah, 100%. Let's just take this and darken it. That's not a bad shout, actually. The others are established like Minecraft and Valorant. Yeah, exactly. Bam, bam, bam. I'm not doing Minecraft. I don't know anything about Valorant, so. Um. I might have to watch you guys playing some uh, Valheim to get an idea of what to draw for it though. Although, well, let's face it, it's probably just going to be a, a cool Viking dude, right? That's the one cool. Look at the bosses. They're pretty cool designs. Okay, I didn't know they were even bosses. Neat. <laughs> I'll do that, and maybe that's what we do next week. Chat. And then after we've made that, we can come back to this. Because at this rate, every stream we do is just going to be this. For the next, like, two months. <laughs> Which is no fun, right? We just bought a big electric stack. Dope. That's cool. I guess we got to, we'd have to pick an early boss or something to, to not spoil the game for other people, though, right? Or is that not really how it works? Is it not really a game that can be spoiled? gonna do chat this is why i don't think we're gonna get this anywhere near finished today i'm gonna do a, a shadow layer a mid layer a highlight layer 
at least for every color and then probably another shadow layer to get the really dark areas and then a white edge highlight so we're probably not going to get all of that done today on this one but we might get at least get all the the, the one shadow which is most of the hard work right because that's how where you're defining where all the shapes and shadows fall and then the rest is just putting a highlight here and there and darkening up some areas right like this bit that we're about to do is going to be the hardest part of defining this um, anatomy um, but with just shadow well this line is horrendous look at this ugly stuff much cleaner Okay. So the reason why I'm turning the opacity on this layer down chat is so that I can see where I've put these lines of folds and stuff from underneath. Um, uh, but then you've got to make sure that when you change your color that you turn the opacity up so that you're not selecting the low opacity color. Crazy Mumbo 300 with the raid. Thanks a lot. Hey Crazy Mumbo people, how's it going? How's life? Hope you're all either Sesame Street or Street Fighter fans. And if you are, what we're working on today, hello, hey, how's it going? Is this. It's count one count, as in bison. We're just colouring this bad boy in. Sesame Street Fighter was too good of an idea to not raid. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, technically, it was Dr. Troy in the chat's idea. Conveniently, he's here today. I guess. Uh... But it's like you said, Vikings can be pretty generic muscle men with axe jumping at demon boss. Yeah, that's probably what it's going to end up being. Do you want to see, uh, Crazy Mumbo people, the, the other ones that I've done so far? Well, I haven't coloured them yet, but I've drawn them. Take the credit. <laughs> You're right, it is my stream. It was my idea. It wasn't even, like, other people have done it before. Anyway. Um... Dun, 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 um. Where's my... Here it is, Mystery Mundo. There's Mystery Fighter. Okay, we'll save that one for last. We've got... Uh, Blanca as Oscar the Grouch. Right. Obviously, I haven't inked and coloured any of these ones yet. Oh, thanks for the follow, by the way. Crazy Mumbo. Uh, we've got... Burt Stroke Guile. This is one of my faves. <laughs> it's a good one. Um, uh, we've got Elmo as Ryu because here's the thing right when you look at the way that other people have done Sesame Street Fire because unfortunately it's been done before uh, everyone just does Bert and Ernie as Ryu and Ken right makes sense but we want it to be different so we did Ryu as Elmo and I've done Bert as Guardian uh, and then my personal favourite everyone was up in arms about this one but my personal favourite, it's Big Bird, it's Chun-Li, doing the spinning bird kick. It's too good, I think, to miss. <laughs> that Guile Bird is mad smexy. Yeah, I like the Guile Bird as well. I think my faves are... I think this is the best one. And then I like the, the Guile Bird and the, the Ryu Elmo. Oh, and then the other one we did. We did Henry Monster, didn't we? As Akuma. Where the frick did we save that? Henry Akuma, here it is. Boom. He looks kind of skinny in comparison to the other ones we did. <laughs> but there we are. Spinning bird kick, come on, how can you not do that? Exactly, see? See, Crazy Mumbo gets it, chat. Why were people up in arms? Chun-Li is a big-ass bird. I know, I know. I think because 
the, I think the only two reasons I can get are that uh, Big Bird is a dude, right? Chun Li's a girl, but who cares? And then the other one, everyone was like, oh, but Big Bird's got Guile's hair. Which Big Bird doesn't really have. If anyone has Guile's hair, it's Bert, which is why we've done Bert's Guile. That's life chat. Anyway, we've inked this one and we've started coloring it. Uh, this, these were the pencils for it, right? And we're doing it in this style. This is like the Tatsunoko stroke Street Fighter game art style. That's what we're going for anyway. It's probably not going to be as good as this, but there we are. That's life, you know. It is what it is. People shouldn't sign gender, assign gender to an, 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 an anthropomorphic, anamorphic. I don't know what the correct word is there, but but you're right. You are correct. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. I missed the PH. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it makes it even harder to say when you can't even read the, the correct word, right? <laughs> Anthropomorphic. Right? Isn't that the word? Something like that. And then when we've coloured all of these guys in, maybe we're going to make them into like a poster or something. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. I've started looking into getting uh, some prints made, by the way, chat. Of, I don't know if you saw the uh, a while ago. As the new Star Wars films came out, I made posters for them. And I just never got around to making prints for them. So I think I'm going to do that soon. So you might be able to buy some of them. But obviously it's a bit of an awkward time to get stuff like that done right now. So I don't really have an ETA on that. But it is in the works, chat. See, this is why we get back into normal anatomy and not Muppet anatomy and suddenly it becomes a lot harder to draw chat. <laughs> the hands and the face are easy because it's all very simple. So Crazy Mumbo, have you just finished streaming then? In which case, how did your stream go? I hope well. I hope it went very well. be 
too much nonsense with the uh, folds and stuff here, isn't there, chat? Get rid of some of this. Take it in a bit. It's actually really good. I slammed five drawing hours. Five drawings in nine hours for my homework. That's due in five hours. <laughs> nice. Good work. Man. I wish I could have uh, streamed when I was at art school. That would give me so much more motivation to actually do my work. And also, you're never strapped for ideas, right? <laughs> Mom vote for president. That might be, I don't know, maybe a bit far. It's a double-edged sword. I spend half the time talking to chat. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing, right? Although we spent most of our time at art school just playing like, like setting up empty bottles in the studio and then bowling rolled up pieces of paper at them and playing bowling. We spent a lot of time doing that. We spent a lot of time making a pentagram on the floor that had Bob Ross's face in it so that we could channel his spirit to get better. So my point is there's time to waste wherever you are, right? <laughs> Also, there was a lot of getting drunk when I was at uni for art. So you're saying Mumbo talked to this chat is wasting time? Wow, really classy. I'm saying in the context of doing his homework, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I stick by that. <laughs> Man, I should really get some reference here. I just, I'm not paying any attention to what I'm doing. I'm just making nice patterns on this arm. Uh, let's have a look at this. How do they do it? Oh, they do it like super, like, big muscles, very tight. Let's maybe do that. Let's maybe do that. Not to get all boomer chat, but it is a bit of a weird concept thinking about how different learning stuff like art is now than when I was at art school, even like five years ago. Like there's nothing that my tutors taught me that you probably can't learn somewhere on just this website, you know? Obviously, that's not the same experience as going to art school, but it's weird to think. Beam of behavior, siren sounds. Yeah, all right, mate. Chill out. 
I get it. It's a wah. All right. It's a wah time. Wah. How do you draw for prolonged periods of time without hurting your wrist? Um, I don't know. Well, I used to uh, do very deliberate like exercises. It looks upsettingly flesh colored. <laughs> it does a little bit, yeah. I used to uh, do exercise all the time. So like before I start, stretch your wrists like this, right? And do like this one and this and all of that right do that before you start drawing and when you finish and i used to like break your drawing down think about it like working out right if you work out you don't just go and run well you do you don't just go and like lift the heaviest weights immediately and do as many reps as you can bam you know you go you stretch then you do a bit of a warm-up and then you build up to the main thing and then you cool down right well, that's what you're supposed to do anyway. So that's sort of how I treated drawing for the longest time. Um, I would stretch and then I would do some warm up sketches or whatever and then move on and then get to the final thing. And that kind of helps ease your body into it, like your wrists and all of that stuff. Uh, I don't do that as much anymore. Um, and I kind of just get started but I guess doing that kind of trains your body in the first place and as long as you maintain your workload your body stays at a relatively safe place for working but if you are noticing that you do get pains and stuff like that try stretching all the time treat it like you would treat working out or whatever um, And you, you can only physically work for so long, right? And also mentally, like, you have to take breaks. So just my advice would be listen to your body. On that one. And again, I don't do anything like as much of it as I should do anymore. Um, but I don't draw as much anymore as I used to. Which is partly why I've started streaming, right? to get me back into the, the flow of it. So maybe when I am back to drawing like 15, 20 hours a week. More than I am right now. I'll get back into doing that kind of stretching and stuff. Street Fighter the game, the movie, the t-shirt for design. That's a good idea, yeah. I worry about my longevity as an artist because my wrist becomes uncomfortable after hours. I don't want to damage my wrist permanently. Uh, yeah, wow. Yeah, that is a concern, right? That is a concern for everyone that does anything like drawing or something that has... Or even typing. You get carpal tunnel and stuff from that. Uh, it's just about treating your body with care and training your wrist to, to take that kind of strain after a long time. Don't just go from, you know... Don't take months off of drawing and then draw for, like, 15 hours straight, like, in one sitting. Because you're just going to fuck yourself over. Yeah, maybe try using a wrist sport. That might help. You've got to treat it like like working out. Like if you if you run marathons, right? You don't run a marathon and then not train for a year and then run another marathon because <laughs> your body would just collapse. And I know this is not the same as that, but the same sort of rules apply in how you treat your body. Um and also, you've got to train, you've got to learn to be kind of relaxed. 
a lot of people when they concentrate all the time and they're drawing really detailed stuff you're like super tense and you're like really deliberately trying to get the right thing but you just got to try and learn to you know relax <laughs> the wow wasn't aimed at you crazy one but that was poorly timed <laughs> yeah the wows are almost exclusively aimed at me so if you're new in chat don't feel intimidated by the wow <laughs> reported <laughs> I mean, feeling strain and a bit of pain after, you know, working and, and moving your wrist in deliberate little things like this all the time, it's normal. It's going to strain after a while. Um, that doesn't mean that you're going to permanently damage your wrist. Um, but also, just don't be an idiot about it. <laughs> you know, just don't be an idiot about it. Wired yourself right into the into a chat van. <laughs> Please no report. I could ban you, you know, but I'm not going to. Luckily for you, we don't have a mod, a trigger happy mod in the in the chat. Dear hats, who's just ready to to pop off at any moment. Yeah, no, I wouldn't make either of you mods because that is what would happen. <laughs> You're both VIPs and I, I cherish your company, but... I thought we were going to jug, jug it out for a mod. Yeah, maybe, but you'd have, to, you'd have to convince me that you wouldn't just troll each other all the time. Or other people in chat. I can make no such promise. See, there you go. I can silence him once and for all. You could. It sounds somewhat illegal though, and I don't want my channel to be associated with that, quite frankly. such a promise it's threatening is that how the the duke it out is going to be is it going to be a fight to the death you done the geef drawing yet i'm not doing geef i don't think these are the ones i've got i've got um i've got m bison count one count we've got blank of the grouch we've got bile we've got ryumo we've got big lee and we've got henry akuma not that H-E double hockey sticks. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Maybe when we've done all of them and made a poster and then done a few other streams of other stuff, we can come back to this and do a round two where we'll put Geef in. And then maybe we can use characters outside of Street Fighter 2 as well for that. That might be fun. Or maybe we save Geef for a different crossover. Oh, dear, dear hats, you can do your own, you can start your own art stream and do your own geef Sesame Street character. 
Can't look at me to solve all your problems in the world. All right. If you've got an idea, make it make it real. Should do Liam Neeson's daughter being stolen by Jim. Call it Tekken. <laughs> uh, do you like seeing really bad stick men? I do, yeah. I can't wait. Is there such a thing as a bad stick man? We're getting there, chat. We're getting there. Somewhere near there, anyway. I will show you. Okay, cool. Let me see. presented it to me. Have you? Nanny? Oh, Discord, okay. not that bad though it's quite expressive do you see that chat is this on auto focus or manual i think it's on manual it's on auto it's not that bad the only thing is the legs don't match up with the thing but then again it, but you know it's it's a stick man part of the point is that it doesn't have to be perfect right it's expressive I tried really hard. No, you didn't. <laughs> I know you didn't. I know you. It shit feel bad. <laughs> oh, come on, chat. You gotta be nice to each other. Troy's making me feel really bad. Why is this? Oh, because I've changed the flow, not the opacity. Or the fill, rather. Added life. Tell him off. It's good. It's the only way you'll learn. I mean, my official chat rules do say troll me and not each other, right? But I think seeing as you two do actually know each other IRL and do this on a regular occasion, I'm going to let it slide. And because I know for a fact that you aren't actually off offended. <laughs> Your talentless worm might be a bit far. I don't, like this. I don't want to be called out for something I clearly do. Oh, I do, yeah. Well, that's the way it goes, I'm afraid. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> what a mess. Oh no. <laughs> Come on. Come on now. Come on now, chat. Be nice. Dr. Troy Donta. Be nice, chat. to let my body die for a few hours before class. I hope to see you again. Yeah, man. Thanks for the raid and thanks for dropping by. And the follow as well. Welcome to the fridge gang. Crazy mumbo. And good luck with classes. And yeah, getting giving your body some rest is definitely a good idea. Definitely a good idea. Don't want to overwork yourself. So my body even wakes up in time. Okay, bye for real. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Good luck. You do have alarms for that, but also good luck. Man, I remember uh, uh, uni getting up like every day and skating to uni at like half nine, ten. Which doesn't seem that early for you, to you, like now, right, chat? But. I don't know how I managed that. I could not do that right now. I could not get get up and first kit thing. Skate into uni. And then be in a frame of mind to draw. Like it takes me like three hours to get my day started nowadays. <laughs> Again, not to go all boomer on you there, chat. Sorry about that. Sorry if you come here to feel hip and young. I thought I had a lecture today at 8, turned out it was at 1. Ouch. But yeah, that was a good thing about our courses, that we didn't really have that many lectures, so there weren't that many um, early starts. The earliest would be 9am, and that didn't happen that often. Most of the time, it was you had to be in the studio at 10. And you didn't even have to be in the You could just not go if you wanted. Um... But you're sort of shooting yourself in the foot by not, right? now I've just kind of switched off for a little bit needed to watch some sweet sweet drawings ah oh, look at you are you actually in a physical real in-person lecture I guess they are meant to go back right or are they now online oh okay that makes sense fair enough Lecturers are kind of a weird concept, aren't they? But we spent so long developing the best way to train, like, to teach kids and train young minds and the, the most effective ways to learn. And then you get to uni, it's like, well, I'm just going to talk to you for a few hours. Um, if you take it in, you take it in. If you don't, I'm not going to help. <laughs> like, great, thanks. Thanks for that.
this red might be a trifle too dark chat and look how far we've come that looks better annoyingly annoying God, look how ugly that is okay select color range this color zero fuzziness or whatever that is and let's make this pen adhesive and color it in oh that's the same color then we didn't change it P much yeah it's weird isn't it Especially on an art course, like when we had lectures and it was like people coming in to do talks, that was interesting because it was like um, giving us insights into the way they work and all that stuff. But when it's just our lectures going, okay, here's this concept, blah, blah, blah. Why? You know? <laughs> such a, such a, a terrible way for people who clearly don't learn well like that to learn. Like we're all obviously very quote unquote visual learners, right? If we're on an art course. better <laughs> kind of hard to tell sometimes yeah <laughs> right we're gonna go in with kind of this fuzzy brush right um, like we had with here, uh, but this is like fur, so well not fur, it's felt, right? Um, so it needs it more. We're only going to be very sparing with it on these parts. Take some of the edge off some of these lines, right? Especially these shadows. Shadows get like less opaque the further out they go, right? Further away from the light source. So you don't want a really strict line like that sometimes. something like that Okay.
now we can do these gold bits and we might be done with this layer of colour. Look how different that is, that's way too different, shall So you see here chat, you think about this, right, is the line of the shadow that this head casts onto this surface, and then here is the shadow that is made on the surface itself. So you always gotta think about different shadows that form, right? So the same here, right? This head is gonna cast a bit of a shadow onto here. But then also, the further away from the light source, the more in shadow the object itself is gonna be. So that's one layer of shading done. And it's taken us an hour and 20 minutes. Longer than that actually, because we did some of the silver bit last time, right? So now we'll do one layer of highlights. This is where the light is hitting it, right? You don't want too much of this. That you lose the main colour of this red, right? And it can get too crowded, right? You want just enough to show what you're doing. And create that difference between light and dark, right? think chat is this style kind of working or does it look like trash
Should we start again? It's working. Buff vampire muffet. <laughs> yeah, it does look a bit like that. I suppose that is essentially what it is. It's a buff vampire muffet. muppet. should have thought more logistically about if we're going to turn this into a poster where the light should be because it's going to have to be the same for most characters right but it's fine it's fine we'll cross that bridge when we come to it that is future chris's problem quite frankly buff isn't he but then if you look at the model it's like a treble buff like the cloth goes under his pecs <laughs> he's like wearing a vacuum sealed outfit vacuum sacked red highlights done I feel like the highlights on this silver are basically just going to be white really yeah like you can't even really see that can't see that at all So we'll just make them white when we do the white layer. Bam, ba ba bam, bam. They can just get away with being white. In the gold parts. Let's save this before we move on. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, the last thing is to do one more layer of shading. Oh, actually, and then the actual last thing is a white edge highlight. You see how on these? Actually, that's a bad one. Where's the big one? There's like a, a thin white edge highlight in some places. Like these parts. This is the kind of style we're going for. Mm, mm,
But first up, one more layer of shadow. Actually, we should do some half tones as well. Because I like half tones. And I think it will benefit from them. As annoying as it will be, and as time consuming as it will be, it will look good. Confident in that chat. Man, this whole project is just going to end up taking us so long, chat. Think about how many more of these we've got to do. Yeah, and the half tones will help transition some of these as well, so they'll look better. Dun dum. Good gravy, my man. Hey, how's it going? You made it for a bit of the stream. You did it. How's it going? It's going all right. It's going okay. Hey, okay, this is where we're at. Not too much more to do on this one, I don't think. Um, Maku decided to show up, exactly. The sass. This looks dope, by the way, thanks. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you know, it's going okay. We're getting there. I don't hate it. I did decide to show myself. Oh, I bet you're all glad I'm here. I am. Cheers. Oh, see? Cheers then to Adam, who made it before the uh, before the show ended. Cheers and chat. Running out of water, so if you want to get your cheers in chat, now's the time. Fashionably late, the real reason we came here, exactly. You don't come for me, why would you? Why would you? I don't blame you, chat. I'm a boring old fart, I'm washed up, chat. Newfangled streamers and they're getting their homework done while they stream on Twitch. What a look. God, I wish I could be as efficient as that. I wish, chat. I actually think we need to add a bit more blue into these. Just to, to spice things up a wee bit. Shading's real nice on this. Thank you. It's getting there. It is getting there. Part of me wishes I'd used a bigger canvas so I could do it a bit more detailed, but that would take even longer. A German vampire. I suppose them bison German. 
suppose he is, right? He's definitely inspired by the Nazis, right? <laughs> That's pretty clear. Thought his hat looked kind of German war outfit. Yeah, it does. It does look kind of like that. But that is, uh, and that is no coincidence on the part of the uh, Street Fighter game designers. Well, the character designers, at least. Or maybe Austrian, at least, yeah. Maybe. How's it going, Average Swingle, anyway? How are you doing? How's life? How's life been treating you? I should have more blue to this as well, what am I doing? Um... Boom, boom, boom. Doing well, thanks. How are you? Life has been poopy. Uh -huh. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, I'm alright, yeah. Life's a bit poopy, I think, for a lot of people, to be honest. Life is just a wee bit poopy right now. But hey, we'll all pull through, right? Nothing is ever bad forever. I don't know about that colour chat, I really don't. I don't know about it. But I think I don't like it. Well, I'm sorry to hear that life's been poopy, but for what it's worth, while you're here, we keep things very chill. And there's no negativity in our chat, apart from that between uh, Dr. Troy and Deer Hats. But they're just that's just the way they do, you know? It's just how they like to get down. Yeah, the chill vibes be good. Yeah, good. I'm glad. How's your day been going today? Uh, it's been going all right. It's cold here. It's cold. And uh, earlier today, I was feeling a little bit coldy, you know, a little bit sniffly and all of that garbage. Uh, I feel better now, though. Um, I honestly think it's just every day when I wake up, it just takes my body a few day, a few hours to get like to realise that it's it's all right. It's just cold. Yeah. <laughs> the highlights and shadows are so sick. It's real cold here too, it's so rainy as well, which is lame, yeah. Um, yeah, thanks Dan by the way. Um, this is generally how I change stuff when I want it to look good, although I usually limit my colour palette more than this. Um, so there we are. Do 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 do. Lurking while I play League of Legends. Nice. I uh, 
I have lots of friends that play League of Legends, but it is not my jam, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's, uh, it's one of those games where, right, you, you have to have, and fighting games are like this, actually. Since we're drawing Street Fighter, I can link it to that. Street Fighter is very much like this. If you don't know how to play, the game doesn't really teach you how to play. <laughs> you kind of need someone to teach you how to play. You need a friend that can show you the way. Because if you just jump online and start playing in something like League, uh, if you play the tutorial or whatever and you play some, some bot games and you think, oh, okay, I understand this game. I can play this. You go online, you get absolutely bodied and everyone in the chat is just like, you're awful. You should fucking, you know, kill yourself and all this shit. And it's like, wow. I just want to play a video game, please, guys. Come on. Calm down. And Street Fighter is a little bit like that. You just get bodied. You go online. You think you're good. You play against the computer or whatever. Or maybe you completely beat your friend every time. And you go online and actually you're terrible. Turns out. And everyone bodies you. And so I do not have the time to learn to get good at League. And so I do not. can take them on online on Street Fighter. Can you? Were you just toying with me the other day? It's Big Coke 69. <laughs> Big Coke 69 is a very, very good name. I will admit that. That is such a good online name as well. It's such a troll name. They're like, oh, who's this idiot? I'm about to clown on this fool for having such a stupid name. And then you clown on them. And shock horror, they've just been clowned on by Big Cuck 69. And they feel bad. And everyone laughs. You know? It's nice. It's real nice and wholesome. The kind of a brownie orange color gives it as a as a shadow gives it that gold look right reads more as gold if you have a bit of brown in there a bit of brown a bit of orange like that Never, my Xbox name was Booty Police 999. Yeah, that's a good one as well. I would never call the police on Booty. Yeah, I know, right? Booty Police 999. <laughs> I love the, that you've embraced the fact that you couldn't have Booty Police. So you've gone, shit, I need a number. What number can I have? Booty Police 999. Ring a ling a ding. Okay, we need to do a darker one of these. Next. Something like this. A bit more blue. Like that. Beautiful. It's it's fucking incredible. It's so good. Oh my god. I'm blown away. I have been blown away by this. Boom. Probably looks trash.
Is this the first one that's been coloured? Yeah, all the other ones are still uh, at the pencils stage, as you can see. Um, this is the only one we've done colours, and it's taking us a good long while. Looks like it's going to take sort of two streams each one, at this rate anyway. Um, Which on the plus side means that we can milk this Sesame Street Fighter thing for another 10 streams at least. Which is nice. But it might have to be a project that we keep coming back to, you know. Actually, let's just leave that one. Man, adding that extra layer of shadow kind of makes it pop a bit more, doesn't it? You've got content planned. Yeah, I know, right? It's the hardest thing. I don't know if you were here earlier, uh, Adam, but we got raided by Crazy Mumbo, right? Who just finished streaming for, I think they said it was like nine hours or something. Uh, or it might have been five hours. Anyway, the point is they were doing their homework. For a project that's drew in that was due in like in about five hours apparently. And I was just like, shit, that's a great idea. I wish I had been a Twitch streamer while we were at uni and I could have just done all my uni work on stream. Drawing, don't know. Didn't ask actually. Probably should have. <laughs> How rude of me to not. See, this is why you're the better streamer than me, Adam. Now we just add some white chat. Some white highlight. Actually, we should probably add a little bit of shade to these teeth. Man, that just looks like the same as that. Oh, there we go. Oh, is the white on here? Say no, so chat. Where is this white? Oh, it's because I'm on a lot of transparent spit sauce as well. I'm only as good as a streamer as my teacher, which is you. Have I, I didn't feel like I've taught you anything. But thanks, though, for the kind words. Oh, we need to do a darker shade of this, actually. What am I doing, chat? We're not remotely done, chat. I haven't done the 
the monocle either. Making a, a prize fool of myself. You showed me the way. <laughs> I showed you the why. For damn sure. That I will concede. The way of the why. I'd be some scrub that draws and doesn't stream it to strangers on the internet. Yeah, what kind of loser would do that? Come on. What kind of idiot. Follow the way the wah, do. The church of wah. The church of the wah. like a monk subclass where the wire <laughs> it does we should make that thing hey Dan maybe that's what you could stream on your channel some D&D &D stuff Might be fun. Play D and D and and draw the encounters slash scenarios on the way as we go, right? For the different characters that we encounter, be a fun way of doing it. I mean, I'm sure somebody's already must have already come up with that idea, right? But. Doesn't mean we can't do it. Can't steal it. That would be a cool idea, I like it, yeah. There you go, Dan. We're coming up with your own channel for you. You don't even have to think about it. You're welcome. he's listening mate he did say that he had lessons or something going on I don't know something in his life something boring that wasn't planning how to be a famous twitch streamer so I mean why bother you know waste of time if you ask me <laughs> don't think all the heavy lifting for your channel we are we really are You want to be really sparing with this white chat. I don't want to use it all the time because it'll look weird. 
just in a couple of areas of brightness to really help the piece pop, you know? Be able to feel as mocking him, so that good. that's good for me. Yeah, nice. Or maybe we do the white on the other side. Just kind of pop against this black here, like this. And to be kind of this light from this Psycho Power. he's going to have these psycho power balls of fire goodness gracious great balls of psycho power right feel as well. Oh man. Do you think he gets like a tingle in the back of his head? His Danny senses start to tingle and he knows he's being insulted. Well I think that's the case. I really do. Yeah, it's just how trying to issue here now. Misaligned. His Danny Dick. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. We don't need that to be canon. We really don't need that. There we go, how does that look, chat? How's that? <laughs> it's not here to say otherwise. It's true. I think I might... Uh, call it there and then in between streams I'll add a few half turns to it um, to kind of transition some of the some of the colours out um, but for now I think I'm going to leave it there we're going to call that let's zoom out one 
I'm going to call that done. I'm going to call that Count Bison right there. I like the finished gravy boat. Adam, by the way. Yeah, the gravy boat's good, isn't it? It's a good one. You can get that by uh, by subbing to Adam's channel. Mm. Well, I suppose... I don't know if you've got the uh, channel point thing with your gravy granules where you can get a, a sub for a day. So maybe if you save enough channels on his... Enough points on his channel, you can get that sub for a day. It's pretty gravy. It is pretty gravy. It's a good one. Um... Likewise, if you save up enough cool points here, you can uh, you can get the wah for a day if you aren't subscribed. Um. <laughs> and then you can wah and chat, as Adam has just done right there. The wah is, I think, superior, but then I would, because it's my own face, right? I'm somewhat invested in that one. Uh, okay, so I guess next time, we're going to do something different. We're going to take a break from this. In between streams, I will do some half turns on this. And the next time, we'll do something completely different. Um, possibly a Valheim t-shirt design or something. That might be fun. Uh, something for the old portfolio, anyway. Will be the idea. And then when we've done that, we can come back uh, to this. And we'll do one of the next guys. Um... Maybe we do Henry Monster as Akuma next. Oh, I'll also do the uh, the Psycho Power in between streams as well. Um, I'll do that. And basically, it'll be the same thing we've done here. I just won't use the black lines. So You're not going to be missing much chat, is what I'm saying. Looks great, man. Hope you have a good day. Thanks. You too. Uh, yeah, so that's where I'm going to love you and leave you for today. And then I'll see you next time. Probably next Wednesday. It will like Hibby. Um, but I don't know. I guess you'll find out if you're following it. It'll send you an update. Otherwise, you can check out the Twitter. Uh, Instagram, I'll post there when I'm streaming as well. You all know. Uh, yeah. So feel free to follow and join the Fridge Gang. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, uh, Crazy Mumbo, for the for the raid and the follow really appreciate it. and everyone from crazy mumbo's channel thanks for dropping by uh i hope you were adequately entertained we aim for uh mediocrity over here and more often than not we achieve it so hopefully we did that for you today <laughs> all right thanks everybody see you next time bye 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 now bye 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 bye